In this video, I'm going to be sharing four steps, yes, just four steps, on how to grow your hair to break your hair growth plateau or just try and grow your hair. No, I'm not going to tell you just to eat healthy, drink water, don't use sulfate shampoo. If you know, you know. I'm not going to tell you that you just, it's just porosity because I'm still not convinced I understand porosity, yet my hair has grown stretch mid-back. Um, these are the updated four steps to hair growth and I need you to watch because you deserve this hair health and growth. Hi, I'm Deanna and this is Jackie. Welcome to Glow in Peace. On today's video, I'm gonna be sharing four of my updated hair growth tips to help you break your hair growth plateau. Um, if you've seen the video from last year, I have updated it um, slightly to reflect where I am right now. So let's start off with step one. Step one is you're going to establish a pre-poo routine. So if you don't know, a pre-poo is something you do before you shampoo. So you're going to establish, I have my notes here, um, you're going to establish a pre-poo routine by establishing a consistent wash day. This is very important because whatever day you pick, you need to pick a day that you can maintain. So whether you do it once a month, bi-weekly, or weekly, it's up to you. I wash my hair anywhere between every once a month or if I, if it's a, like a little, let's say it's my, I just dyed my hair, which I've done before, and I'm like, oh, it needs more health. I've done bi-weekly, I've done every three weeks, whatever it is, you have to be consistent and stick with it. Every tip I'm giving you, every step I give you and the steps within the steps are geared towards your hair health. Listen to me. These steps are geared toward length retention, which is, well, hair health, which promotes length retention, which promotes hair growth. So I need you guys to listen with both ears, please. Um, this is not, I'm not the type of YouTuber that is telling you to stuff just to tell you stuff. I'm not just saying stuff. I really need you guys to listen because I've grown my hair, I have trimmed my hair, I have minorly had some hiccups on my road and I'm still growing, I'm still growing hair and so many people have grown hair and if, so far if you're watching this, you're like, I've heard this before. If my hair growth methods have helped you, please leave a comment. So that's number one. Of number one so the pre poo routine so you're gonna establish it you're going to start off by doing a scalp massage on your scalp on your wash day that just helps to get the blood flowing um which is where diet comes in right diet is not for the girls who are like all you got to do is eat healthy and drink water like girl no you that's a part and that's the diet comes in I'll explain more about why diet is important than scalp massaging because that relates to a, a whole other step but for right now just know start your uh, wash day with like a nice four minute scalp massage in the inversion method so tilt your head down tilt your head back and you can use a um your hands or hold on I'll show you my scalp massager I got this one from Amazon I will link out I will tell you where I got this I'll show you how you can get this um or where you can get this it's on Amazon it's the Confier scalp massage and it goes like this it got it go double speed and then it yeah so ah, it feels really good okay so I'm just gonna hold this here while I tell you the steps um using oh sorry so you're gonna do a two to five minute I say do about four minutes scalp massage boom okay I gotta turn this off otherwise I'm, I'm gonna get distracted sorry so then what you're going to do is, um, you're going to take, um, you're going to make eight ounces of a tea. Now, I, in my last video that I did these four steps, I said you can use black tea or green tea. Because at the time, that's what I was using, because I believe it's the caffeine that helps reduce shedding. But if you're caffeine sensitive, which a lot of people have told me, then the better tea would be to use. And even if you're not caffeine sensitive, what I do now is I take rosemary tea yes rosemary tea which comes in the tea bags and I just steep eight ounces of it put, let it steep and then I also put it in the fridge because again like don't be don't be slow and put hot water on your scalp like be for real um so I take that tea when it's cool after I let it steep then um you can use black or green tea if that's what works for you but for the herbal tea girlies the girlies like I'm not putting caffeine in my hair go off put that put that um rosemary tea um let it steep um and then yeah if you want you can add some dissolve some I, you can do about a teaspoon of msm powder but you don't have to 
if you want but you, you if you want to you can um because the rosemary is pretty powerful you're going to let that steep and then you're going to put that in a spray bottle okay once you have that in the spray bottle um you're going to um take you're gonna put your hair in first manageable section so i usually put my hair in fours and if any part you're like i need a, i'm a visual learner just know i have videos i have a wash day that does this in great detail so at any point you're like i need to see this i'll link the wash day below so you can see exactly what i'm talking about right um so you're gonna put your hair in four sections and when you put your hair in four sections you're going to take in a bowl um y'all know what bowls look like don't don't people in the comments sometimes i love y'all y'all are my heart but sometimes you guys ask questions that i'm like i know they know the answer to this i think they just want me to respond but i know you know i know you know i know you know that and you know that i know that you know so don't don't okay a bowl a regular cereal bowl a bowl y'all okay you're gonna take a cup of your favorite um, conditioner. It could be your favorite deep conditioner. It could be your favorite regular conditioner. And in your cup of um, conditioner, you're going to add some things to get it to be what you need it to be for this pre-poo deep conditioner, okay? You're going to add, everyone, is everyone paying attention and taking notes? Because I need y'all to listen. I need y'all to listen. You're gonna take a cup of your favorite conditioner you're going to add, I believe, a half cup of extra virgin olive oil, a tablespoon of fenugreek powder. You can add like you can add some honey or agave. If you're if you're sensitive to honey or agave, they're humectants, so they draw moisture to your hair. So if you're like Deanna, honey, I'm allergic to honey, I'm allergic to agave, then use glycerin. Then use um I would say about a two tablespoons of glycerin. Uh, two tablespoons of honey or two tablespoons of agave nectar okay and then I would also add some black castor oil you can also add a little black castor oil I'd say about a, um, no, no more than a quarter cup just give it a good little swivel so don't exceed a quarter cup and then a quarter cup of melted shea butter mix that up real good if you want to also get some hair good good benefits you can also add a tablespoon of amla or fenugreek or you can do both um they p basically do the same thing in promoting length retention so you're good with either or um you can get all these things on amazon i know i get a lot of questions of deanna what brand should i use as long as you see it got good reviews it's good but it's good okay if you as long as it got some good reviews read the reviews so it's not some bogus company but as long as it's a from a reputable company then go off okay that you know so i because I, i'm i do get a lot of questions like what brand i'm like well i use this brand but it's what i use a certain brands and i can link i'll put links I say that and then I get to the end of uploading the video. I'm like, but I just want to upload it. They can find it. But let me see how I feel. I won't make any promises, but I'll, I'll just say fenugreek powder brand name. I don't know what I'll do. You'll see it when this video is published, okay? And so what you're going to do is you're going to take this, this the tea that's cooled in the spray bottle. You're going to spray it lightly to tangle your hair through it. And then you're going to rake your hands through it with the generous amounts of that pre-poo um right and you're going to do this before you shampoo and condition which is why it's called a pre-poo routine right and once you do that you're going to put your hair in twist do not braid your hair it's harder for water to penetrate because your hair when it's in braids it still does but it's not as much because you're going to keep your hair in these sectioned off twists as you're shampooing conditioning this off right so once you let it you're going to put a plastic cap on you can do this with or without heat. It's very effective. If you're doing it without heat, do it for the full hour. If you're doing it with heat, you can do it for like 45 minutes. But either way, it's very effective. I actually have, I don't feel like getting it, but it's okay. I have a cap that you put in the microwave and then you put it on your head. And I got that from Amazon too. There's so many like it, so... As long as it's reputable, I you got my you got me and Jackie's seal of approval, okay? So, yes. 
Um, then you're going to, once you're done with that deep conditioner, uh, pre poop deep conditioner, you're going to rinse it out of your hair and then shampoo and condition normally, right? Do not take the twist out. Listen, I think a lot of times, because I, re I read the comments, I cannot respond to all over 1,000 on that video. But I read the comments and I said uh, to myself and Jack Jackie, I said, see, they asking a lot of questions because they didn't watch the video. If you watch the video, you would have known the answer to these questions, boo. So go back. You didn't watch the video. You didn't look and see. It's kind of like in class when the teacher is like, okay, hold all your questions to the end because somebody might have already, the, te the question might have already been answered. Y'all got to listen and listen, 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 okay? Um... So yeah, rinse the shampoo and the condition. And then if you want, once you get out the shower to seal, just keep some of that moisture in. Take your favorite um, leave-in conditioner and just kind of scrunch it into your hair, right? Do, like I said, do not take these twists out when you're shampoo and conditioning. Do not take these twists out. Keep them in. You know, if they're starting to unravel, Twist them back up in the shower, but do not take them out, okay? Which is why anywhere between 4 to 6 to 8, 10 is manageable to you, okay? Now we're moving on to step number 2, which is protective styling. Now, when you are doing the protective styling, you're going to see those same sections, twists that you were working in? That's how you're going to protective style. You're going to work section by section, applying a generous amount like no one is doing dime size. Nobody is doing dime size of anything. We are black women. We are black people, most of us. For my everybody else, ask yourself, even if you're not black, ask yourself, have you ever used a dime size amount of anything, of any hair product? Be for real. Not even the girls with the short, short hair. Not even when I had my little, my big chop was I using dime size. So anyway, um, what dimes use the amount that's appropriate for you. You're going to work section by section and put your hair in a protective style, um, using a curl cream. Now, protective styles I recommend are mini, medium, chunky, three different sizes medium, medium, chunky, mini, medium, chunky, twist, and braids. I do not recommend wa um wash and goes because and i'll explain that it's well in short it's because they they will you will more likely get single strain knots if you're having an issue with length retention there's a lot of issues that could be th this is to help these four steps are to help that but wash and goes will make you more susceptible to sing two single strand knots and which is those little balls of knots at the end of your hair and your hair will pull from the the ends to the roots so i don't recommend Wash and goes. I don't recommend twist outs. They're cute. They're beautiful. But I recommend protective styles. Like, oh shoot, I thought I dropped something. I recommend. Um, I keep my hair in mini twists, and I band the twist to keep them stretched. And sometimes I put them in a, like a high bun, or I do little puffs with the mini twist. I don't take the twist out, and I do this for about a month. But no, I do not recommend. Um, wash and goes if wash and goes work for you now here's the thing because i realize when i say certain things people are like well wash and goes or twist outs they work for me why are you watching this video then i don't understand people come in the comments and they're like i don't do any of these things and my hair grows so why are you watching this video this is not for you this is for the people who are having trouble growing their hair and retaining length if you are not having issues retaining length, what are you here for? This is for, this is, I'm not saying that my hair growth method is the only method, but it is a proven method that is not just work for me, but for other people. I believe there is a YouTuber on this app. Her name is Miriam or Miriam K. I hope that's her name. Girl, if you're watching this, I see your growth. And I've seen you. Th thank you for thank you for acknowledging the that Jackie and I. Well, you didn't say Jackie, but by acknowledging me, you are acknowledging Jackie. Your hair is beautiful. If you're watching this, your hair is beautiful. You know who you are. Um, I've seen the I've I've subscribed to your channel, by the way. Anyway, just a shout out to her. Because her hair is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay? If if you're watching this, I see you, girl. So these are the curl creams. This is the curl cream I use. Um, this right here. So this is my favorite curl cream. And I'm not just saying this because this is actually my curl cream. But it's not my favorite curl cream because it's my curl cream. It's my favorite curl cream because, it, because it's my favorite curl cream. 
This is formula. This is from my company, Deanna's Breakthrough Formula. And before you're like, here we freaking go. Here's another natural influencer. Just She's just trying to sell me something. I'm not trying to sell you nothing. Let me make something abundantly clear. I'm not trying to sell you nothing. I'm trying to tell you what I use. And I'm telling you, I love this curl cream very much. I formulated... If you, if you don't know so much about this line, click on the video I made. I'm wearing pink in the thumbnail. You'll see it. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the description box. But this is my curl cream. I formulated this collection called the Mango Butter and Flaxseed Oil Collection. And we utilize in this company a plant-based, nutrient-rich formulation. So what does that mean? That means that not only are all our ingredients plant-based, it also means that whatever we advertise is in the product. For example... See how it says mango butter and flaxseed oil? Wouldn't you believe that's mainly what's in here? Mango butter and flaxseed oil. But then you have other things, right? Because then people are like, oh, is it all natural? I'm like, well, we can't say that. No natural hair company, no hair, no, no ha hair company, but let's just stick to natural hair. No natural hair company can ever claim that their products are 100% natural. Not that they do, but they say all natural ingredients. Well, that's a lie because you know what doesn't grow on trees? preservative which is very vital the very vital you know what let me just say this i i, I want to get to this but i have to say like you cannot we, this is not a natural preservative doesn't grow on trees preservative thank you si everyone should be saying thank you science thank you modern science for creating preservative because without it products would be moldy and stink and rank and nobody wants that for hair growth if that's what you do stick to diys right and, and, and you know, and another thing too, okay, since we're saying preservative doesn't grow on tree, how do you think your Oreos stay fresh? How do you think your goldfish crackers stay fresh, okay? Worry about what you're putting in your body and worry less about what you're putting on your hair to an extent. Because you're worried about things you shouldn't be worried about. You're worried about the wrong preservatives, boo. Worry about the preservatives you're eating. If that's the case, I don't want to hear none of y'all eating processed foods. How do you think they stay, how do you think them Cheetos stay fresh? preservatives and cheetos are not good for you no we eat chips we do but this is good stuff and i'm not just saying it's because my company i know what i put in here i know what the, i know what it took to formulate this i understand this is a plant-based nutrient-rich formulation and of course we have one percent of form of a preservative the preservative used is phenoxyethanol sa it is the most common broad spectrum preservative. In high dosages, it can be an endocrine disruptor, which is why you need somebody who knows what they're doing, someone who is preferably in a science field. Thank you, Jesus, that my background is in molecular and cell biology, so I was familiar with the certain aspects of chemistry and formulation on a completely different level, but it helped in a lot of ways in formulating this product in, in in products in general right in the european union it is only phenoxyethanol is only safe at one to 1.5 percent usage which is exactly what this is i think it's less than one is one percent um one per one percent formulation so each for each formula each formula or each you know not bottle but each formula um we are is formulated with one percent um usage so you're good it is not enough to harm you it is the perfect safe amount perfectly safe for your hair perfectly safe for the product i just had to get that off my chest because if i hear this is an all natural hair product one more time as if propylene glycol grows off of trees be for real okay so you'll notice there are certain things in here like um, the water, obviously every product needs to have water, mango butter, flaxseed oil, flaxseed oil is like, bl like black seed oil has, it inhibits DHT produ production, which in high levels, um, DHT cause causes um excess shedding breakage and it's found um dht is found a lot with people who have alopecia so yeah and then the a lot of the water components of this of the products um of this collection are coconut milk base and coconut milk is amazing for your hair the fatty acids in it are amazing for link retention and then you have glycerin you have things like extra virgin olive oil and then you have things that don't grow on trees like cetrimonium chloride which is a fantastic um um conditioning agent which provides slip you have things like stearic acid which is from coconut oil you see 
I can talk about this because I know because I didn't put I put it in there I know but mainly what's in here is the mango butter the flaxseed oil the extra virgin olive oil the coconut milk MSM powder is in this is first of all it smells it's it's not overly fragrant so if you think it's gonna be like all fragrance which is how the companies get you because if you really being for real a lot of y'all like products not because of the what it does but you just like the way they smell and that's fine I fall for it too but when you're trying to get the growth the smell is not gonna get you the growth okay fenugreek does not smell that good to me okay I could be biased I am biased this is my opinion but fenugreek She's not that girl in terms of smell, but she is that girl in terms of length, retention, effectiveness. You feel me? So yeah, um, this is what the product looks like. So I did all that talking to say this is, oh, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see how butt, this thing is thick. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. It's not watery. This is the coils, right? This is the thicker formulation, right? She's not coming out. That's what I'm saying. She's not. It does smell good. I, I, it does smell good. Because you don't want it to be. You don't want your product to be rank. You know. But And I do formulate it with our um, with our house. With our special essential oil blend. <sighs> it smells really good. I'll, I'll be making wash days. Of course. With using this product. And moisture maintenance routines. And I'll show you how I use this product on the oh my gosh look how buttery it's so pretty like i said i could be biased because this is my company but no i'm not because i have i have used if y'all only knew how many products i've been through you don't see there's a bin in my room with like old hair care products i have been through every curl cream every time a company shea moisture can do african pride care all of them every time they drop a curl cream i hope that this is the one and I hope that this is the one. And I hope that this is the one. And the one I used before this, which was good. And if I had to like not use my company and I could and I didn't have enough of this, I would use the or ores honey and shea butter because it's like a pudding. And it's and it's really, really good. But in terms of like this product is the best of both worlds. It is like a very rich, 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 rich butter cream. And um, it has everything I ever wanted in a product. I don't have to add the MSM. I don't have to add the 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 mango, but I don't have to add the oils. Everything I want is in there, so I'm good. I I got it, and I formulated the mango butter richly enough, just just the right amount of it to be truly effective for the product. And then you have certain things like satiro and and um um acetyl um alcohol which are amazing they are they are fatty acids like a shea butter right like a like a like a cocoa butter they're fatty acids and they come in the form of pellets and when you're making your product they're so good right it because that's what gives richness and consistency in a product because if it was just mango butter and flaxseed oil we'd have a hot buttery soupy behind mess in this product so everything works together i do have another curl cream which is the curls curl cream so that was the coils this is the curls this curl cream is for more it's still very rich but if you are transitioning if you are relaxed if you have even type one hair it will be thick type two hair it will be thick it might be a little heavy but if you want an effective product this is it because it's the same formulation same ingredients it's just slightly it's very subtle so i'll show you i'll compare one and the two together so this you can see this is like our rich butter cream this is more like a cream cream so like it's this is you know this you can tell they're a little different even one is slightly you know darker than the other i don't know if it's just the lighting with the camera but uh actually no no in real life one is slightly you know darker than the other but this is more of a cream cream this is more of a rich buttercream. So if you have like type 4 coil coil, you know, type question mark hair, like what's your hair type and you go like this, I would recommend this. But if you're like, okay, my hair is looser, you know, it's, it's a little heavy, but I, I recommend this because they do the same things. And they're both, because they're geared towards hair health, they're very good at curl definition, in my opinion, okay? I've seen very good curl definition using this product my testers who have tested this line before it was launched i've seen noticeable curl definition where they haven't before where they didn't even have curls and they started so i'm not just saying this as a promo i let me tell you something 
if I wanted to make money, y'all don't understand. You see, y'all problem is you don't get it. If I just wanted to make money, I would have never done this line. I would have just kept doing YouTube. This line was very hard to formulate because there was no point of reference for something like this. I've never seen a company utilize plant-based, nutrient-rich formulations where they said that they they call it their cocoa butter or their jojoba oil line and I knew for a fact that that jojoba oil was in there. It, you know what I'm saying? I've never experienced that. I've never seen that or I've seen companies um you know, start off that way and then fall off because as they get bigger, they're not, you know, they're not as involved. And I'm proud of them for starting, but it's like black women, in particular women who have thicker, coilier hair. The point of the natural hair industry was that it was supposed to be niche and we're making the wrong things inclusive. Call me a gatekeeper, but we're making the wrong things really inclusive because it's supposed to be a niche market for a hair. That being said, if you do not have thick, curly coarse hair I would recommend this product because it works for you now whereas the reverse is true there are certain products formulated um that might be a little watery for us they're still effective this product will be effective for you probably very effective it just might weigh your hair down a little but if you need like I need nutrients Deanna I recommend this product like if you for instance if you're if you're relaxed um and you need like a quick little curl cream to put in your hair as to detangle your hair before you're um, uh, going to like blow dry your hair. I recommend the curls cream because it's just enough. Like I don't recommend a lot because if you're blow drying your hair, you don't want your hair to smoke. But I, this would be a good product to mix to combine with probably your um your what's it called? Your 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 heat protectant because you should be using a heat protectant, which I imagine you are. Um. Um, and combine the two together. So yeah, these are these are two of my babies. There's another one I know you guys know, but I, I if you don't know, I'll tell you. So these are my my, my two my two friends here, and I I love this curl cream. This is what's in my hair right now. It is. I'll just show you a little glob of the coils really quickly. So if I'm just gonna, you ain't hold on. Look at this. You ain't. It's thick, bruh. It's thick. It's thick. It's it's. I have I have actually never. I, you know what, I've not seen. Maybe y'all, when certain companies first popped out, you saw, but I've never seen. I have never seen this, and I'm very, God is so good. I'm really happy he gave me all that I needed to formulate this line, and still helping me, because I don't even know that I don't know. And obviously we don't use sulfates. There's no parabens, it's, a, it's all plant-based. Put your hair in that protective style, my friends, and, and don't art, if you want to do wash and goes, Fine. Fine. Okay. If wash and goes work for you, do what works for you. But if you're tried everything and you say, well, twists don't work for me. The thing about that makes a good twist or a good mini braid, but let's just talk about twists, is that your hair should be slightly weighed. That is a really good thing when you're twisting your hair. If your hair feels like it's still kind of dry, A, you didn't put enough product in there. That's essentially A, B, and C. You didn't put enough product in there, and the product is not sufficient at weighing your hair. Because when that hair gets that weighed down feeling, in my experience, that is when I'm like, okay, that moisture is not going anywhere. And if you need help weighing your hair down, I it's in my basket of stuff there. But Blue Magic Hair Grease, which I sometimes still use to also help if I'm like, no, I need to get these, these twists. I need to get these twists weighed. Take that blue magic hair grease, put it in that per that section twist, and also really from the root to the ends. Make sure you're working these products through your ends. Through your ends. Do not stop at your end. Don't get lazy. Okay, we do it. But if you're going to do that little twisty thing at the end of your hair, make sure you have enough product because that is where you're going to see the length. Um retain you need to make sure you're working it that from your root to your end so put as much product as you think you need okay so that was step you know number two <laughs> it was very long and i had to tell you that i had to take a little you know dip but i was it's very important that you understand that it, the products you use are very important and the products you use will make or break whether or not you have a successful long lasting protective style. I also forgot to mention make sure that you stretch your twists. Um, 
And if you go on my website, um, for Deanna's Breakthrough Formula.com, which I've linked on my channel. So if you go to my, you know, my channel and you'll see it in the links, you can go there and you go to Revolutionizing Hair Care. Not only will you see the, um, the hair, not only will you see, um, these steps, you're going to see, um, Revolutionizing Hair Care. You're also going to see the Deanna method. So if you don't feel like taking notes, I got you. I put... Everything I put it all you can't really see because of the glare, but I put the Deanna method is there that way you have it So that way when you're using the products you understand how I'm using it Also, if you click the link if you click certain things you'll see it will take you to the hair ties It will take you to the scalp massager. So if you go make sure you go I need y'all listen I need y'all listen because sometimes I say things in the video and then I get asked in the comments and they're like I'm like did they not listen they didn't li oh my gosh you guys I forgot to tell you before we move on to step number I forgot it's Jackie's birthday yay oh it's today is Jackie's birthday she turned 14 yay so everyone just tell Jackie there is no let me tell you something there's no glowing peace there's no Deanna's breakthrough formula without Jackie Jackie has been my best friend my rock my very plushy rock and my 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 buddy since day one actually since day I don't know what how many days is nine years but we I got her when I was nine and she's been a part of our family since and she's the cutest little friend I will put <laughs> I don't know if you guys will do this but if you Jackie loves cookies and if you want to buy her a cookie I'm gonna put my cash app so so Jackie can have cookies cuz you know I get a lot of love, but Jackie deserves love. You understand there's no there's no platform without Jackie. So everyone just just give if you want to just tell Jackie hi and happy birthday to Jackie. I know she'll appreciate. She reads the comments too. She's my executive assistant. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know. Happy birthday. Okay. Oh, she says thank you. Thank you. Okay. She we're 10 years apart, so She's 14, I'm 24, so yeah. Okay, moving on to step three. Good, now that we've already put our hair in our, <coughs> sorry, banded twists, <laughs> and we put our hair in our banded twists, like so, like that, it's, we're going to do our re-moisturization routine. So, three to four days after your wash date, or whenever you feel like it, you're going to put your, you're going to, basically re-moisturize your hair now let me say this listen do not take your hair out your mini twists your mini braids your protective style do not take your hair out of your protective style there is one there's only one time i ever take my hair out of my protective style when i put my hair in exactly four braids not five not six when i put my hair in four braids which I've done that I've done this before that's when I'll take out the one braid do it and then put it back in the braid but if you got a hundred or whatever mini twists you think I'm taking out all these mini twists and redoing this in between wash days you got another thing coming you got another thing coming um okay so three to five days after your wash day or when you feel like you know, you need that moisturization, um, okay? It doesn't have to be three to five days. It could be two days later. It's up to you when you feel it. You're going to start off this, this re-moisturization routine with, again, with your scalp. Where is it? Where's the scalp massager? I genuinely don't understand why things grow legs around me and just crip walk away but cool you're going to scalp massage your hair again everything is linked if you go on the website click revolutionizing hair care everything is linked there too okay so you're gonna do that scalp massager with the inversion method and you're going to scalp massage um your hair um yeah you're gonna scalp massage your your hair for four minutes about that right Okay, once you scalp massage your hair, then you're going to lightly mist your hair with water. Do not, if you still have some leftover tea from your wash day, throw it out. Um, I don't recommend making, I, when it comes to teas, everyone reacts with teas differently. I do not recommend using a tea to do this. I just recommend taking some water or rose water because I don't know the effects of 
tea that's not being rinsed out of your hair so I'm not going to advise for right now I, I um, unless it's probably mixed I don't know so I'm not I'm just gonna say take some regular water or rose water or 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 lavender hydrosol or lavender water any of those things that have that nice they'll get some good mist I went to Dubai a couple months ago and I have this really cool camel milk and rose water that I put on my hair and my face so yeah you know even even certain toners you can put on your hair but let's just say water rose water lavender water okay that let's just say anything else is you gotta make you gotta you gotta apply the wisdom for you okay you're going to then take your favorite curl cream which in my case is the coils curl cream and once you once you coat your hair with that water you get a generous mist up in that you know you're not trying to wash your hair you're just trying to get enough moisture on that hair so you're going to take your favorite curl cream and you're going to apply a generous amount to your protective styles right to your protective styles so like i said like i said do not take each twist out and do this do not do this why would you create more work for yourself? You probably have so many other things to do that day and you're gonna spend your time doing that. Be actually for real. Do not waste your time taking each twist out and do not say Deanna said it because no, I did not. You're gonna take a giant clump or a good clump and coat from Ruta to the Tuta. Understood? And you're gonna do that until you feel like, okay, I got enough. And if you need extra weighing down, take some of your blue magic hair grease and if you need the reference, I, I will put the re-moisturing hair maintenance and moisture routine maintenance in the description box. Not, it doesn't have the new products. I will make a video with the new products just so you guys see it. But I do have, but I'll put what I have made in the description box just so you guys can have a reference, okay? Um, boom, 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 boom. Now! Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Now that your hair is moisturized, you might be saying to yourself, my ends are looking a little parched. They're not giving the good little coily curls definition. They're not doing like this like they did when I washed my hair. Do I got a product for you, bruh? And let me just say this. This is not me trying to sell you something. It's me trying to show you something. This is a sealant butter. This sealant, let me just, you know what? I'm going to show you better than I tell you. This is what it does. Uh huh. This is my sealant butter. This is Deanna's sealant butter. You're gonna take some sealant butter. You know, let me let me let me purposely like. <laughs> I'm don't do this. Don't play with your life like this and screw up your ends. So I'm gonna make my end a little frizzy. <laughs> okay. You understand what it does now? The sealant butter seals your ends. It is the only product. It is the only product to seal your ends. I don't know why it took a short black girl with glasses and a kangaroo to do something that the billion or multi-million dollar natural industry couldn't. I don't know why it had to be me, but it is me. Because this is not something available other than my company. It is the missing link in natural hair care. And I wouldn't be surprised if companies, as this company grows, make their own version, but it will never compare because of our, you see this? You see this? What's going to happen is you can't, you're not going to see it now or depending on how long this video is, you're going to see that it will start to shrink up and get real, real, real sealed. And yeah. So you'll notice most of my ends are curly because I'm using the sealant butter and that is what you're going to do. At the ends of your hair, you're going to apply the sealant butter. Actually, even at the beginning of your wash day, this sealant butter is great for your scalp because this formula, this is highly concentrated with mango butter and flaxseed oil. Out of all my products, this has the most mango butter and flaxseed oil, but it's still very, it's a, it's such a, I can't even, this is what it looks like. Now, because of our cooling process of these products, some of the sealant butters might look might feel thicker than others and some might feel this is the more of the lighter weight one but still i mean it's very thick some might feel like more hard like not hard more thicker some might feel look like this they're both effective like it's just the way it was cool just so if you do end up buying it 
I believe right now it is out of stock, but we do have a new um, batch. We do have a new shipment coming. We do have a new batch coming. So um, if you go on the website, make sure you get notified when available because we do send out emails, right? We do send out emails, but this is so you get the, so this is so you, you're going to know as soon as it's in stock. I mean, as soon as it hits the, 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 the website shop, you're going to be the first person to know. So I recommend this product. It, it is a game changer because this is a missing link in, 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 in length retention. Because before, if you know, you know, I used to make this honey butt, this, someone called it Deanna's honey butter wax, and it's really cute that someone called it that, but it is a mix of, I used to use the Murray's Bees wax with the castor oil honey, and that was effective, but this is, in my opinion, this is 10 times more effective, and I'm not just saying this because it's my company and I, you know, I invested the time formulating this. You see how it's coiling? You see? 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 Y'all not y'all not understanding. From you doing all these steps, I, I I wish I could ingrain this in your spirits. I am not just telling you to eat healthy and all these things just just so you watch my. I'm not trying to. If I really wanted to make money, I would spread misinformation like everyone else. Like that is the surest way to make money. I would be telling making videos called use this one ingredient and your hair will grow and I'd get millions of views because people will. It's easier for people to glom on to a lie than the truth. And if I wanted to make money, if I really just cared about watch hours or just being famous, I would just be stringing you along and making money like everyone else. But it's hard out here to have integrity. It's hard out here to do some, make products that cost, it costs me, if it's costing me to make you, to make the products, it has to cost money. Like I'm saying, like, we can't make these free 99. It's costing money, research, time, energy. This line has costed me mental health. I was not on YouTube for four months. Yes, I make money passively through ad revenue, but you're not understanding me. That's, I could be posting videos and I could have been in the Bahamas. In the Bahamas. I could have been in Turks and Caicos, met up with Drake, me and Aubrey sitting by the pool, Drinking margaritas. That could have been me. But no. I said let me take my entire summer and basically half this year. Dedicate a line. Not just for my hair health but for them. Because my hair was growing. So when I tell you this product is not me just trying to say here you go. I am. I. my. You know what my heart for my company is? I just want to help you. I just want to help you have healthy hair. That's it. Like, I want you to have, and let's say we expand to more. I want you to have healthy skin. I want you to have a, like, healthy, you know, complexion. I want you to have a healthy relationship with your body and your hair, which is a part of your body. So, when I tell you this product has changed my life, that, that Murray's honey butter that I mix in all together is good, but nothing compares to this. Because this, this got the MSM in it. What? The length retention girl herself, if you don't know, Emma said a methanol, uh, meth, methanol, a uh, methyl sulfonyl, methyl sulfonyl methane, sorry, is a sulfur rich compound that, um, that because your hair is made up of disulfide bonds and it's a major part of your hair, sometimes with damage. Um, yes, you have proteins in your hair that can break both the, these bonds, which I think are part of the proteins of your hair. But anyway, these bonds, when they break, you know, they damage, that's when you have damage and stuff like that. These bonds become strengthened by sulfur-rich compounds like MSM, which is why MSM is so important in length retention. And all the mango butter and flaxseed oil products are formulated with a good amount of MSM. I, a good, trust, it's a, it's a, it's in there. It's in there, so you don't have to sprinkle nothing. It's in there. So, let's check on our... You see? What? You see this little curl right here? Now, I can't promise everybody's curls are going to curl the way my curls curl because your curl definition is different than mine. But I am saying... I am saying you should... You can use this on your wash day if you feel like your ends need the extra TLC. But I... Because the curl cream on that day of the wash day, because you still got the, the benefits of that mask that you... That, that pre-poo mask that you just rinsed out. 
you're you should be good but yeah um I recommend oh my gosh so I'm saying this product is amazing for your scalp if you're going to scalp massage your scalp with it I recommend that you do this don't do it at the same time if you use your mechanical scalp massager not for any other reason that your scalp massager just might get greasy and if you don't care neither do I go off do you or use your hands when you massage it doesn't matter the point of a scalp massage which is step number four now that we have Remoisturize our hair making sure oh just make sure in the last step three you just put your hair stretched out just keep your hair stretched because people are like how are your twists so long baby I, I stretch them that's how they long <laughs> hello I keep them stretched otherwise they're gonna shrink up and either way if, when you take them out your 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 bands they're still gonna be shrink they're gonna shrink but they're not gonna be as shrunken as opposed to you keeping them stretched so that's okay and then the last step is scalp massaging. You want to see the hair growth? You want to say, okay, I'm doing all this. What can I do? You need to scalp massage your hair anywhere between two to three times a day. And I know that seems like a lot, but baby, your hair is worth it. You are worth it. You are worthy of your hair length goals. You are worthy of them goals, okay? You don't know how disheartening it is that I go on a TikToker or influencer's page and they have long, beautiful hair and I just see the way they string people along because they're not going to tell you how they grow their hair. Because there's this, if you used to watch Sweet Life with Zach and Cody, um, if you know the characters, there's this one girl, London. London was like, oh, you know, oh, no, Maddie, the girl at the, the counter, you know, was like, you know, London, how are you so strong? Because London is petite. She's a socialite heiress girl, but she is built for tough. Like, she is strong and, and snatch. She's like, how do you look this good? And how are you able to, you know, she's like, first of all, I need to carry all these shopping bags per. Second of all, yeah, of course I look good. She's like, what do you do? She's like, well, I would tell you the secret, but why should anyone else look as good as me? And I think that's the same mentality these influencers have. So a lot of them have, which is why none of them will say the truth. None of them will tell you exactly what they do for their hair. They'll just say, I pray, I, I, I stay stress-free, I drink water, and I don't use sulfates. Like, first of all, baby, the only way you should not be using sulfates is if sulfates irritate your scalp if you're sensitive don't use it but sulfate shampoo is not the reason why your hair is not growing i'm sorry it's just not you not knowing your porosity baby i didn't even know what a porosity was that didn't stop nothing and that's not you think our ancestors with our, their hair down to their knees were like what porosity 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 they didn't care about porosity they were their hair they were putting they were keeping their hair protected or they were keeping their hair Fairly nourished, okay? Porosity? What are you talking? Listen, you like the, the, the natural y'all like to take things that have nothing to do with nothing. I'm not saying that knowing porosity, because I, I I'm saying I could be low, I could be high. I don't know, but that has not stopped my hair growth. These four steps are the things that have helped me. Like I said, I am not telling you anyway, Scott massage your hair. Scalp massage your hair two to three times a day. It, I don't know where the scalp massager. It just grew legs and walked away. Do you see it? Oh, I thought it was behind me. Um, when you the scalp massager runs for ten minutes. If you if you I'm like, and the thing about a scalp massage, if you're using your hands, it's not a scratch. You're not doing this. You're not trying to scr scrape into your scalp and pull out your follicles. It's the. <coughs> It's not the scratching. The scalp massage has nothing to do with the scratching and everything to do with the pressure. Because that is what's going to stimulate hair growth. It's going to stimulate blood flow, which is where diet comes into play, right? So what does your blood carry? Your blood carries ions, your blood carries water, your blood carries a bunch of stuff, right? Your blood is, a good part of it is water. But your blood your, is carrying the nutrients. Your red, your, your red blood cells are carrying the things needed to get to where they need to in your body, right? When you're eating foods that your hair loves, like nutrient, like you're eating a lot of fat, fatty acid rich foods. So you're eating a lot of omega-3s. You're eating salmon, you're eating avocado, you're eating walnuts. You're eating certain things that your hair really loves. So let's say you're taking fenugreek supplements, you're taking MSM, you're mixing it with water. Those nutrients are going to be carried, right? right those nutrients are going to be carried it's kind of like if you're in the gym and you're taking creatine to um to help with the muscle growth to add the extra 
um, to, for, to build, to create more um, ATP, to get more energy, like, um, which ATP, if you're, if you're a science girl, you know, but ATP is your body's energy currency, and the more energy you have, the more energy is available for you to keep working out, right? The same principle applies to, to hair growth. When you're eating healthy and you're eating those fatty acid foods, you know, omega-3s, I'm not talking like canola oil or stuff like that. Oh, sorry, I went out of focus for a second. I'm talking, that nutrients is going to help tremendously when it's brought to your hair, it's going to help. So that's, in that way, you need to be mindful in what you eat. This doesn't mean, this means to have a balanced diet. You should be eating a low inflammatory diet is what I'm trying to say. So like if you're eating a lot of, not saying you should never eat it, but if you're eating a lot of bread, a lot of carbs, it's really the carbs. If you're eating a lot of carbs, if you're eating a lot of refi refined oils, nothing grows in inflammation. So if, you know, your, your diet sets up a good basis, but it's not the only thing and they never tell you this when they're explaining hair growth they never tell you that the why diet plays a role they just say eat healthy drink water then your hair will grow but I think a, a, a lot of the times with these influencers is that their hair has just been that way their whole life and they're trying to come up with things to tell you and then people are like but I eat healthy and my hair is not growing and for people are like well is genetics. I have explained this before. Genetics only plays a role in hair growth, people. Genetics is not going to determine. Genetics determines a thing called terminal length. Terminal length is the most in which your hair can grow, right? Genetics determines a lot of things. It determines your pigment, which is your color, your, te your texture, so like your hair type. <coughs> genetics, you know, controls that type of stuff. But genetics does not say whether or not your hair is going to be super long or super short. Right, genetics determines the most at which your hair can grow. Now the issue is people don't know their terminal length or the most at which their hair can grow because they're not retaining the length that they are growing, right? They're not retaining that. So how are you going to know that? So that's what genetics controls. So for people to say like, oh, genetics is everything. Genetics is, it's just a component, right? But your issue is length retention. That's the issue. Your issue is you're growing hair, but you're not retaining length because it's, you're not stimulating your scalp, you're not making sure your hair is moisturized, your ends are being sealed, so you're getting, if you're getting these little knots at the end of your hair, you pull the knot, you're gonna break the strand. I've been there before, ha hair growth was stalled for basically two and a half years because of it. So, I'm really just trying to help you, so make sure you're doing your scalp massaging um, daily for, um, I would say if you could do even when I did one scalp massage a day for four minutes with the inversion method, which I recommend to get to really get the blood rushing to your head. Just don't come up too slowly because the low iron girlies, you're going to collapse. So just take your time when you get up. Don't try to boo up or otherwise you're going to be seeing stripes and stars, okay? Um, <coughs> okay. And yeah, um, that is my two cents on how to grow your hair in four steps. I know each step had a couple steps, but um, I recommend, I, I can't, like I said, it's out of stock, but when it's back in stock, you will, and you click notify when available, you will literally be the first to know, because as soon as it hits in stock, it will automatically send you an email that, come and get the product, before our company sends you an email that it's available. So I recommend that. I can't get past even the curl creams. This is the coils and the curls. Uh oh, the, it rolled under my bed, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> I love this curl cream. It is the only curl cream I've used since the beginning of the year. Um, I've been through different versions of this product, and different versions are very effective. I just like the consistency of this one um, the most. I I really love this product, and I'm and I again I'm not just saying it because it's mine. I. I I need you guys to understand that I really love you and I really care for you and if there would be no YouTube channel without you guys supporting me, I am just trying to help you grow the most hair. I am just trying to make sure you have the healthiest hair possible. That's it. That's my job. My goal is to help you get that. And I cannot promise that this company will work for everybody because we all know not everything will work for everyone. But I will say that that is the intention and it should, in theory, work for everyone because it has worked for a lot of people. The methods have worked for a lot of people. But the seal and butter, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, put it on your scalp. I do want to have a hair oil in the future because I think that would be super cool to have my own oil blends because I do use, the only hair oil I use, I can't find, is, um regular black castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil, if I needed a hair oil, 
usually when my hair is in braids but I if I have this product available I use this product on my scalp now if you are a silk press girly do not use this product on your scalp use this product you can use it on your ends the ends of like your ends let's say you need it your ends but I recommend it like I don't recommend you use this product while your hair is straightened because I don't know because it has water in it your hair might revert so I wouldn't take that chance yet but definitely use this product in between like on your wash days if you are a scalp massage or a relaxed girly or you know what I'm saying but if you're transitioning yes use this product um yeah absolutely use this product all these I I, I just wish I can express to you that I'm not just trying to sell you stuff so you can buy stuff, which I know that sounds weird because I have a company and I should be promoting the company, which I am, but it's not because I just want you to buy because trust me, you have no idea. If that were the case, I would have quit. I'd have said, you know what? This is good enough. I am, I am going to be in this lab in the in I'm not going to be here. You, you don't understand. There were a lot of sacrifices while everyone this summer was outside. Maybe I was inside with the notebook, with the calculator, with the research, going on NCBI, making sure, looking at um, research databases, making sure that my products and what percent was, I, I was, re you understand? So this has nothing to do with, oh, she's just trying to sell me something and sell me something. I'm really trying to help you. And there's not a lot of people who are really trying. Most people, they create products that are convenient to make. And these products are a, if you only knew how much of an inconvenience these products are to make, <laughs> you don't understand. And the way I have to make these pro you don't understand. And it's really not for you to understand. It's just for you to say that I'm, uh, for me to tell you I'm really trying to help you. And I hope <clears throat> you, if you don't buy these products, if you have products that work for you, Kudos to you. You know, use what works, okay? These are for people who are like, baby, I haven't tried everything and it's not, it's not working, okay? These, I'm just recommending. I really love this curl cream. The curl, oh, okay, I found it. The curls cream is amazing and it's a true cream. Like, why is it, tell me why I go to the grocery store and I see, like, curl creams. The thing about that a curl cream should have is enough weight to it that it has good hold. And that's not what I find with most, but with th these I do find that there is a good, so this is the texture of the curls, right? You can tell it's still kind of buttery, but it's, it's, it's not as buttery, like, buttery as the coils. But it's a definitely, the, our lighter weight consistency is very good for your... I mean, it's, it's, it's just all around, I, I, all these tips, oh, let me just say this before I sign off, because we're going to go celebrate Jackie, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to hang out with Jackie, my mom and I, and my dad, <clears throat> these products, there's no, no, these products and these steps do not work independently of each other, so do not, do not message me, DM me, email me saying, I have scalp massage and nothing happened. Cause I'm gonna ask you if you did the other three steps. And if you say no, I don't, I'm, <laughs> what you want me to do? Like, what, what do you want me to do? You know, our hair is not bothersome. Our hair is beautiful and our hair is so amazing. And taking care of our hair is a blessing. Cause nobody, especially when you have our texture, nobody's hair can do what our hair does. We could silk press it. We could, braid it all these things we can do with our hair so you have more appreciation for your hair and everyone should have appreciation for their hair. but i'm talking this is for the black women and men specifically our hair can do a lot of cool things so you be be nicer to the giant plant that's on your head okay that's all your hair is a giant plant that is on your head be a lot nicer to her and take care of her okay and trust and, and here's the thing about the pre poo routine that makes it so effective when you take that time and make that, you know, that pre-poo routine, when you do that, that will set up your whole, um, your whole, your whole, you know, <clears throat> protective style, uh, style until the next wash day. Like, it really sets you up for greatness. So, all these steps do not work independently. None of my products, and when companies say all, this is why we don't call them hair growth products, because that's very misleading, because it tells you that as awesome as our sealant butter or a cur curl cream is, none of these products are gonna make you grow your hair. There's no hair product in the world. There is no ingredient as potent, as amazing as rosemary or mango butter or flaxseed oil. No ingredients are going to make your hair grow. They're just not. 
because it's a it's a process it's a consistent hair care regimen that makes your hair grow it is not an ingredient that makes your hair grow have sense okay so you need to make sure that you're doing this in a regimen and if you have a regimen that works for you stick to it if you have if washing goals work well for you do it okay i'm not telling you to stop what's working for you i'm just trying to give advice to people who are doing stuff and it's not working for them okay because <clears throat> i get a lot of that like well i well, i don't do any of that in my hair grows it's like okay that's good for you baby like i, I don't know what you want me to say like you ever seen that meme with, with Norman? He's like, mm -hmm, he's eating chips and said, that's good for you, baby. I'm like, that's how I feel reading the comments because it's like, what you want me to say? No. Oh my God. It shouldn't be like what works for you works for you. But this is what works for me. So, And this is what's worked for a lot of people. So I really pray you guys receive this. Receive this authenticity and genuineness. I, 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 I wish I could tell you guys I'm... I make it any more clearer, but I really am just trying to help you, which is it's like I have to I want to keep saying it to emphasize I am not just trying to get you to keep watching. I'm not just trying to get you to subscribe to get you to buy. I'm I'm just trying to help. I really am just trying to help you. I, I don't want to see I was stuck not knowing what to do. And I wish and I wish I had someone like me to save me from that. You know what I'm saying? So I really pray that you guys get the length. And get the <clears throat> get the the growth that you deserve because you deserve it my loves you deserve it okay everyone good if you and that being said if you have a question and I didn't and I didn't answer it okay and you need some clarification you like okay if you have any questions about just general questions leave them in the comments if you have questions about the product specifically you can comment them or you can Email info at Deanna's Breakthrough Formula dot com. Okay, that I want everyone to you. If you have a question about the product that you have to email the company, you have to email info at Deanna's Breakthrough Formula dot com and we will get back to you. Our team will get back to you. So that's the company email for the product. So if you're like, uh, does this product, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah. So that's, so email, use that email for product questions or use, you know, you, I guys see my email if you just have to email me a question. Sometimes I get back to them, sometimes I don't. Still send me emails though. It can, it's a lot. It's a lot going on. I'll do my best to get back to you, but the quickest way is to leave a comment with your question. If you gotta say a birthday shout out, I'll, I'll put Jackie cash app in there if you want to dm uh, dm shout out if you want to send so she can have birthday cookie um she loves cookies and i was going to take her to insomnia and i would love for her to have cookies so if you want to bless if you want to be a blessing i will not stop you from blessing jackie's life so if we can get cookies um okay <clears throat> Jackie approves. I love her so much. Happy birthday. Okay, any questions? Leave them in the comments. I love you. Jackie loves you. And we'll see you in the next video.